the authority of the scriptures. A Christian believes the scripture has authority over church. All scriptures God breathed. And the Roman Catholic believes the church has authority over the scriptures. So God says scriptures are from him over us. And the Roman church says uh, God sent the scriptures and the Roman church has superseded them. And they are above the scriptures. So that's uh, a total contrast in the realm of authority. Salvation, a Christian is saved by God's unmerited grace and, and Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says that a Catholic is saved by meriting the graces needed for salvation. We can merit for ourselves and for others the graces needed for the attainments of eternal life. And that's a direct quote, quote from paragraph 2010 of the Roman Catholic Catechism. Justification. A Christian is justified once by faith because justification is a permanent declaration by God. If you want to turn to Romans 8, 30, it's a great verse to hold on to in your heart. And I'll read it with you. It says this in Romans 8.30. Moreover, whom he predestined, these he also called, and whom he called, these he also justified. Once and for all, justified. However, to the man who does not work but trusts God, who justifies the wicked, Romans 4.5, he has that imputed or credited righteousness. What does the Roman system say? A Roman Catholic is justified repeatedly by sacraments and works because he loses the grace of justification each time a mortal sin is committed. The sacrament of penance offers a new possibility to convert again and recover the grace of justification. The ultimate form of losing your salvation is Romanism because they lose it every time they sin, uh, a mortal sin. And the sacraments offer them a new possibility to be reconverted. And so the To them, the the road to heaven is kind of like having your springs out, you know, where you're going up and down, up and down. And then finally, when you die, you go down and you go through the the purging process. And after an indeterminate amount of time goes by, you get out of there. Now, it's a lot better nowadays. In the Middle Ages, the Dark Ages are basically from sometime after the fall of Rome until the the Renaissance, so it's almost a thousand years from around 500 A.D. to around uh, 13 something to 1400 A.D. In that period of time, the Roman Church dominated Europe, and in that period of time, the amount of time you spent in purgatory was determined by the cardinal's hat that hung from the rafters of the cathedrals. And what they would do is, when the cardinal of that city died, they would take his headpiece and they would tie a rope on it and they would string it up like hanging down from the rafters, and they would have it up, though, so the people couldn't touch it. And when, through the process of mold and and dampness and and bugs and, and just normal decay, when that rope finally rotted through, which would take sometimes 100 or 200 years, and that hat fell down during a church service and hit the floor, that's when the cardinal got out of purgatory. And so you would sit there counting on your fingers. Man, it took Cardinal so-and-so 200 years. How long is it going to take Uncle Zeke or me? See the idea? And they never knew when they'd get out of purgatory. 